Well, this is Kavona, and the mark you see right here on her face is from a paintball someone shot at her while she was working at a McDonald's in Dearborn. And now she is sharing her terrifying story to Local 4. Priya Mann spoke to her just a short time ago, and Priya, first off, how is she doing? Kimberly, she is in a lot of pain. She's at home and she's recovering. She's really one of the sweetest young women you could meet. And she was just doing her job working the overnight shift at this McDonald's drive through when for the most mundane reason, a man armed with a paintball gun shot her in the face. I was opening up the window to get money. I didn't know he was going to shoot me in the face. Kavana's left cheek is painfully swollen. If it was any closer, I probably would have been blind because the impact was so hard that my face is still stiff. The 25 year old fast food worker was shot in the face by an angry customer armed with a paintball gun. I was holding it and the blood was just spilling down. And I looked over at my McDonald's shirt and it was yellow paint splatter everywhere mixed with blood. Just after one Monday morning, a customer pulled up at this McDonald's drive through on Michigan and Gully in Dearborn. He asked for an ice cream and a frappe, but it just so happened both machines were being cleaned at the time. It's sad because people think we're lying about, you know, the machine system and everything, and it's not our fault. It's, it's the truth. Although irritated, the man ordered a 10 piece and some sandwiches. When he pulled up, Kavana opened the window slightly. Then I held my hand out and he had the gun out like this and he shot me close range. Kavana says she's worried she'll be blamed. People think it's my fault and like I did something wrong and it's like my customer service. It's not my fault. He decided he wanted to shoot me in the face with a paintball gun. Kavana says she's praying for the shooter and the safety of other fast food workers. What if it was a gun? You know what I'm saying? What if it was a real weapon? And what if I got a real hurt? I could have died. Close look at whatever those surveillance cameras may have captured, whether this man's identity or more importantly, the license plate on that vehicle. Kavana says she's scared to come back to work, but her bills won't pay themselves. She's scared, but says she's going to review her options. Dearborn police are investigating tonight, calling this a heinous crime. Reporting live from Dearborn, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Absolutely unreal. Okay, Priya, thanks.